Hey you all, here's the latest update on the layout. Been doing a few things like uh, wiring the room, lighting, got my stereo in here, gotta have my music, uh, insulating the room, different things like that that I'm not gonna show you, it's not worth even going into, just letting you know that I've been doing more than just working on the actual layout itself, getting my room ready, because as model railroaders know, this is our time of year. Uh, when the season starts changing, getting a little cooler outside, we tend to do more inside. So, one of the things I've been doing the last two days is I've been working on this. The last video showed the track plan, or at least part of this section of the layout. Uh, I did some wiring, and I made this so that I'm able to lift it instead of getting underneath it. Uh, went through the deal with my knees and back. I'm not going to bore you with that again but it's a lot easier for me to work on it by lifting it up. Um, I do have a, an idea in mind of how I wanted to do this. I'm gonna to continue to use my DC uh, power packs as well as converting to DCC. I only had three equipped engines for DCC. So <clears throat> I made a CTC board so did I. I'm going to turn this around now so you can see. I made a CTC board. Uh, the next time you see this, it will be painted black. The, the uh, track plans will be yellow paint. And I think it was two weeks ago, this thing popped up, the advertisement on Facebook. It is pretty neat little gadget. It allows me to switch to DC or DCC and LED lights light up to show which mode I'm in. It's by this company called uh, RPC Electronics. Pretty handy because I needed that and I was like, there it was. How convenient was that? So here's where my power packs are going to be. Let me back out. This one here died on me the other day, so it's going away. I had to pull out an older one. But this is where this is going to be. My CTC board will be put in place right here. That's part of the build right there. And what I have so far, <clears throat> excuse me, I have these tracks insulated so that uh, I could shut off power to either of them. One of the things I had in mind also was to do some street running on this layout that I did not have on the old layout. So I ran this track down the middle of the street and I put the buildings up just to get an idea how I wanted to do it. I'm going to use some plaster <coughs> and make my street. I haven't decided whether it's going to be concrete or uh, asphalt yet, but I'll get that later. But I will put the plaster down once I'm done lifting this up so I don't crack it. And the track is actually having a destination back there in the corner. There'll be a chemical plant and some other kind of uh, factory facility. I did get uh, this number one track wired. I'm going to pull this train towards us, see it running, so you can see that I am. Okay, let me turn the power on here. This train will move towards me. Guess I get the right direction here. It's not Hollywood. This is. Sunday evening in the garage, camera work. Here we go. So I do have some power going to the track. And the next video, I will have everything wired up. So you guys are participating on the first run on this layout. seems to be running pretty smooth so I'm happy with it <clears throat> so anyway that's what's going on here with the uh, layout and see you guys next time